Hey, how you doing? This is JJ with Deluxe Vehicle Detailing and Paint Correction in my home shop garage here in beautiful Seminole, Florida. Uh, I want to talk about why you should be taping off, masking off, covering uh, as much as you possibly can, especially when doing compounding in paint correction. Before you polish, you want to have some uh, aggressive pads, some aggressive compounds, and uh, you're, you know, going after scratches and you're going to be, you know, grinding away or, you know, really mowing down the clear coat. So you don't want to do this multiple times on the same areas of the car. And one way to uh, eliminate that uh, when there's intersecting areas is to tape off these corners and intersecting areas. Also, you're going to be working uh, with polishers in tight on these areas. You don't want to be rubbing on the plastic with the edge. Uh, I'm using the Auto Triz Nano Polisher. I can get in there very tight, but I don't want to be having that backing plate hitting any of the plastic. Um, so this isn't so much as a how-to. It's a why. It's uh, you know just makes common sense that you want to protect things, and also the cleanup uh, as you go through the process of doing the entire car becomes a lot easier when you have things protected to begin with. A uh, perfect example in my own case is when I have helped friends paint a room. I want to like tape down all the edges, get the borders, put plastic down around the carpet, um, you know, whatever the case may be, it's the cleanup afterwards is easier. Everything is more protected. If an accident happens, if you slip and hit an edge and splatter, you know, everywhere, um, you know, you could technically make a cutout in newspaper, um, like I showed in a previous video, and um, you know, actually protect the entire surface. Um, so I'm going to pick you up here. Uh, forgive me for being a little jiggly. I, I will say that this is part of an ongoing full paint correction process video that I'm making. And uh, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for future notifications. I'm, uh, I'm working with a new movie maker software and using the Nikon camera, getting better filming, get better, get, getting better audio. Uh, this is with the cell phone. It's quick, but there's always good stuff coming down the line, and you'll want to be sure and check it out. So uh, I'll just say that right off the bat. All right, so I'm just going to show you a few things that you're going to need for a project like this. Uh, the first one and foremost would be tape, right? I really like this 3M Performance uh, tape. It's good for all surfaces, plastics, paint, glass, very low adhesion uh, left behind, practically no residue left, and um, it is very easy to contour around curves. Uh, as an example, this is all one piece of tape. Now. When you are making your contours, it's nice to be able to get in and snip and cut certain pieces. This is a Scotch titanium uh, pair of scissors. And the most important thing with this is that it's got a blunt end. Now, it's not safety capped in plastic or anything like that. So you do need to be extremely careful, but you can get in and you can snip because the ends are very sharp all the way to the point without having an actual point on them, right? Pretty important. For the actual point and getting things in tight places, this is a curved scissor, uh, much like would be in a manicure set, right? For doing your little hangnails and things. Well, it also makes for nice ability to slip in and get those tight spots if you just need to get that little tiny corner as you roll the tape down. Um, so two indispensable tools. Also, 
Uh, having a blunt instrument that you can then go up, you'll leave a little bit of tape that goes over the edge and you will want to run something up underneath there safely that uh, will help you uh, get that masking tape where your fingers can't reach. Also having something like a little toothpick, this is a little plastic uh, uh, tip and you can get in those real tight places maybe where you know you could use a, a popsicle stick, a coffee stirrer, um, any kind of various household uh, thing as long as it's safe and you do have to be very very careful. Um, so it's great to have little tools like this, something that you can work into the tight spots, right? So you need a variety of tapes. I, on this project, since this is my own personal car and I'm treating this as the enthusiast that I am um, and not a professional detailer as such where, you know, time is of the essence and you know, all of this kind of stuff takes time that I'm about to show you. But I think in the long run, uh, it's worth it. But uh, yeah, quality tape and lots of different thicknesses, very important. You may want to also have plenty of newspaper and plastic sheeting. I'll be showing you that in a moment. Just for some areas, like I said, you could totally mask this in as you're doing these edges to save yourself some time with some uh, you know the occasional dusting and or splatter that can happen. Um, then you're inadvertently going to touch surfaces when you are putting the tape around and therefore uh, this is a Rust-Oleum body solvent, something that you're going to be using anyway. You know, Duplicolor, whatever you're using, um, you can then take a soft, clean microfiber towel that you don't love a lot, and um, you can hit, uh, moisten it up, hit those ad adhesives. Believe me, the, the tiniest touch of any tape is going to leave a little tiny mark on there. You may not even see it, but in the right lighting you will. So you want to spray some down and wipe all around where you've worked, unless it was a, a long straight line and you just know that nothing touched it at all and you, you've got a perfect lay down on it, which takes practice. All right, I'm going to... Uh, to uh, pick you up off the tripod here and uh, just show you some of the uh, areas around the car. Okay, so my first example, uh, here we have the uh, plastic going down all across the cowl, right? All the way up over the car. This is a uh, canvas topped convertible here the plastic didn't quite stretch all the way you can take some newspaper and fill that in right just some sloppy tape use some old cheap masking tape for that the expensive 3m tape yeah it's kind of pricey I have here I'm using up some uh, 3m blue no this is scotch blue with advanced edge lock it's great if you're painting a room. Um, it's not necessarily great for your automotive purposes, but I was just using some up. It's been around a while. Um, you know, I'm gonna clean off the adhesive. It actually is very low adhesive and fairly sticky. So that's nice. So here's my example. As I have this three inch polisher, I'm doing four different sections on the car and I'm starting with this first panel behind the convertible top, right? So I've taped off the adjoining two sections, and if I hadn't, when I come in here with this polisher and I'm getting this edge, I'm also inadvertently polishing on here and on here, and I shouldn't really say polishing, I'm gonna say compounding, right? This is a cutting microfiber pad. So you really, if you did this edge, then did this panel, then did this panel, you'd kind of be hitting this area three times with the compounding. Maybe you don't want that much compounding going on. Maybe you're trying to preserve your clear coat, which 
Uh, you should be, right? I'm being sarcastic. So you want to tape things off just to protect edges, edge lines, keeps a little more dusting from going into the panel. As you can see, there still is an open gap there, but I've protected this edge line, which I don't want to be compounding over and over and over again, right? So that's the point there. I've got the uh, uh, trim protected along the back of the convertible top. So as I go in here with the pad, I'm not scuffing the plastic, very, very important. So, also, let me get myself situated. Sorry about that. So, my exhaust tips, right? My poop shoots. Uh, I'm going to be coming in here with the Auto Triz Nano Polisher and also by hand and compounding, polishing, maybe doing some jeweling. I want to make sure that everything's protected just so that I don't have to worry about touching anything with the metal. I've got it protected. I've got my pads protected from the exhaust pipe, even though, yes, they're extremely clean, right? But you're protecting both sides of the issue, the pipes and also your tools. Um, when you've got little areas like this keyhole, uh, I went around, I, this tape is a little bit pathetic, but uh, you, uh, you can tape around the edge of the circle and then I actually cut a little circle out and put that just to kind of flatten it all out. And if I can, it's nice to be able to go in here with these tools and be able to kind of press those all in. Uh, same thing on the emblem here. Again, this tape is a little bit crappy and old and, wa <laughs> and why I'm using it up right now and using it on my own car. But, sorry about that. So, you know, you can come in here and if you've got a little issue with some of the tape, you can go in with your tool and you can push that down to get it out of your way, right? So it's nice to have that little tip and be able to get that. Again, this tape not exactly the greatest in the world but that's why i'm using it up so areas like this like i took the light out i took the antenna off um, i'm trying to make my life easier right if you've got the time and the inclination do things like this you can take things out this is three bolts it took me about five minutes to take out this antenna took me about two minutes to take off why have something in your way when you can ser seriously just take it off and then be able to get in there? Look how that is around the edge that no one's ever taken that off. But when you're an enthusiast or when you're a you know show level professional paint correction specialist such as myself, you've got the time to do this because you're going to be charging accordingly. Okay, on the edge here, I started out with uh, a nice straight cut on the tape. I got in here and left myself enough room, of course, to be able to cover the top section of this. Cut an angled slice here, ran it along that edge, and left myself enough room to get to the bottom, right? Very important. This is the M emblem. It's going to save you getting any kind of polishes inside the lettering on things on emblems. Same thing with the BMW emblem. It's raised, it's plastic, and it's chrome. You want to just keep everything uh, very uh, clean and tidy. Uh, character lines on the car. You want to watch when you are doing some compounding that you're not going over these edges aggressively. You can use some very thin tape like this, protect some edge lines, protect little bolt holes. This is where the license plate cover is. I've got a uh, VIN number tag. I just put a piece of tape over that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that area. Also, the edges. This is a nice curved edge, but with the, <laughs> with the nano rotary uh, polisher, I'm going to uh, spend a little extra time on the flat area. Then I'll take this off, clean it up, and polish out the edge. 
Also, this trunk area. Come on, trunk. Um, this edge right here. Got a lot of scratches and scrapes from a previous owner dragging, I don't know what, maybe golf bag. I think it fits in this car. But uh, protect this plastic trim line so that you're not scuffing it up so that you can get in nice and tight along this line. And then I've got a little extra uh, fat tape here too when I do the uh, trunk section, which will be the second uh, section that I use. You can raise this up a bit and bring this down then you can work on these edge lines and you don't have to worry about this line so it's nice to be able to pop things up when you need to so i think that about covers it as an example of why some of this is important it does take time it does take energy um, and uh, uh, but the results and the cleanup are what matters so I think that about covers everything about the great world of taping. Wow, that's exciting, JJ. Woo-hoo! Um, anyway, please do like, share, subscribe. Give me some comments. I always like to see more stuff from you guys. And uh, enjoy making your vehicles beautiful. I thank you.